Matco Tools, Snap on Box. Matco Tools, Snap on Box. Matco Tools, Snap on Box. That's right, guys. We are breaking the rules once again. We're going to put some Matco Tools organization into the Snap on Box. So stay tuned. Now it's no secret that the tool organization game between the major three manufacturers, Snap-on Mac and Matco, are pretty abysmal. And when I say abysmal, they don't really listen to their customers that much. A lot of the customers, they wanna have a little bit more versatility, a little bit more, I guess, uniqueness to their box and to their organization. Not every set is gonna work with what they have in the way of organization. Like they'll make the socket trays from Snap-on, but you know what? what socket sets are actually going to fill that tray. Absolutely none of them. So you have to buy extra sockets or you have to split up sets to be able to fit them into the trays. It's just a big old nightmare. So today we're going to do a little bit of organization with the Matco tool grid set. We're going to be putting this into and switching some of my drawers in the snap on box. My wrench game before was pretty horrendous also. So we have upgraded the wrenches and we've done a whole lot more. You guys have seen in the nifty tools that I've gotten a lot more SP tools and some of their wrenches and ratchet wrenches are something that turned out absolutely fantastic. And I decided that it's almost too good to have at home. I need to have it here at work to be able to use every day. So now I've got lots more wrenches here at work and I need to have a place to put them. So my wrenches were moving from a smaller drawer to a larger drawer. And then all my screwdrivers that are in that larger drawer need to condense down and fit into a small drawer and get organized better. So let's look on what we have going on. Now we'll get in here to the second drawer and this is going to be my screwdriver prize picks handled tools drawer. And as you can see, mostly snap on and snap on when they organize these, they are in the blow molded cases, which you can see in between everything, there is a lot of wasted space. I mean, this section right here, I could fit two or three more screwdrivers. I've got an extra big whole section right here. A lot of extra Torx drivers sitting around here. Some chisels and stuff that are just sitting around in places that they don't really need to be in. So I would say that this drawer can be condensed probably to about half the size, which is what I'm really hoping because down here we've got my wrench drawer. And we've done a lot of organization with the original toolbox widget and things are gonna be, I guess, progressing quite nicely. We've got a lot of SP tools wrenches to be able to fit in with our wrench set, but this drawer is fairly well organized and it needs to fit more. So we're gonna be moving that drawer up to the screwdriver drawer and switching them up. And then the Matco tool grid that we ended up picking up right here is going to be fitting right down into that drawer. I sized it out pretty much right. So this tool specific tool grid is going to fit with about an inch of clearance in there. Matco has a whole lot of different options when it comes to sizes. So you're going to have to figure out the size and application for your drawer in your application. So let's get to moving some tools. So the Matco tray that we have right here, it measures 29 inches wide by 26 inches deep, which is gonna give us just a nice right around amount of room here in the middle section. We've got about an inch and a half, inch or so play on the outsides width. And then front to back, we've got about inch and a half, maybe two inches that we're gonna be able to play with. And then we'll put our spacing there to the front of that one. 
because we don't want our drawer getting all scuffed up here in front. I'm leaving the rubber mat underneath of it that was from the, in the Snap-on box already, so this whole tray here doesn't slip and slide forward and backward. I don't want it to be able to move like that. Later on, if it comes to the point where it is, I'll probably get some rubber bumpers or something and put it in here to keep it stiff into place. So now from Matco, we have all of our hardware sitting here and what we ended up picking up, uh, the hardware here, the screws, which is like a T20 or T25 Torx on these, it comes in packs of 100, which just so happens to work out perfectly because I uh, counted out, I've got about 48 tools right around there that I wanna fit into this area. So 50 is a good round number. So we got 100 of these. And then for the handles, the wider sections, we ended up getting five bags of these. They come in 10 per bag. Whoop, dropped it. Epic fail. Butterfingers today. Third time's the charm. So we've got, this is what they look like right here. We've got these for the wide part of the handle. And then we'll open up the bag of the smaller ones. And in the smaller ends, this is what the tips are gonna be there for receiving. Now, everything you might see in my drawer is not all screwdrivers, so not everything has a straight end. Well, what we're gonna do, we've got some flush cut pliers and we are actually going to cut out this intersection of receiver here. So all of our like hooks and picks and everything, we're gonna be able to put this section about an inch farther in from where that curve on the tool is to be able to hold the tip portion of the tool. So let's get to kind of placing things out and the placement of how I like them. difference is the snap-on ones obviously are going to have a little bit of loose play I guess they're not meant for that but the thing that I really do like is the v-shaped of these it's the snap-on comfort grip handles absolutely perfect so it the snap-on logos are up every time it's like they were supposed to go in those trays or something oh let's keep rocking So another tip or trick here that I found out, I thought I was gonna be able to take a nice set of, you know, flush cut pliers here and be able to cut notches in these little things. Well, this is some high density plastic stuff that once you start cutting on it, it's just gonna wanna shatter. It's not soft enough to cut really easily with a pair of pliers, especially ones like that. So it ends up just shattering in a couple of different pieces. So. Don't use pliers to try to cut on them. Actually take a little saw and cut a little V notch into the end. This is gonna be for like the picks that don't have a standard straight end to them. We're gonna be cutting a little bit of a V into it and we'll do a close up of a couple of them here in just a couple of minutes. One of the biggest things that tool companies have come out of context with is the organization system. 
When it comes to a technician, they have their own way of doing things. And the tool companies, they come out with a single way of putting these tools. Now, it may be all right for whatever one test group that they might be looking into that one day, but as a whole, they are gonna be missing the big picture. The technician world is not just being able to have one toolbox working right here, kind of like what I do right now, but there's all kinds of technicians who walk across the shop, who actually get their hands in and take their carts out into the parking lot. So there's going to be all kinds of different formats of tool organization that they need. So like Snap-on, I would say, is probably one of the worst ones that comes to uh, organization for the tools, at least coming out in different forms and versions of it to be able to keep the customers happy. They usually have one system. It's either a blow molded case and maybe some one other cheap little alternative and it just, it doesn't work out in the end for you. They don't have a whole lot of options. But when it comes to companies like uh, this with the Matco organization here, it gives you an infinite amount of organization or customization when it comes to that personal technician. There's a couple of other companies out there that do something similar, kind of like the toolbox widget. We'll go into detail here in a little bit. I'm just kind of putting this drawer back together now. And the other one is actually done already and I'm sure you want to see it, but let's check in and see what it looks like for you. So I'm not going to lie like the slightest bit, guys. This was probably the longest three hours that I've spent doing anything in the last like three months. This took forever, almost to the point where I'm like, God, I just want to go home and be done with this miserable stuff. But if you hold in there, if you just hold off and get to organizing and putting everything how you want, it turns out phenomenal. So let's check out how awesome this is. quite a few little hiccups and things along the way, but it turned out absolutely amazing. Using that saw was one of the hardest parts of it, but actually once I figured out how to you know, do it best, put it in a vise or something like that, and be able to cut these things out, kind of like this right here, being able to cut out the inner portion of it. See, we got a couple other, you know, kind of goofy ones here where we had for our pick tools. This was a neat one where we had to actually cut out the side of it where this 90 degree angle hose pick was. But all in all, it turned out really great. I'm glad that I had it. This thing saved me a lot of room in this drawer. I'm able to fit pretty much any and every screwdriver, pick, pry tool that I had, and it fits in here just absolutely nicely. All in all in this project, I think I had right around $145 or so on the Matco truck for this one single drawer, which I don't think is that bad. If you compare it to buying a whole bunch of screwdriver organizers and you know, if you were to get some other kind of organization system, I guess you would have, I'm guessing right about the same in it, but there's not a whole lot to compare it to when it comes to you know, modular in the screwdriver way. Uh, there are going to be a couple more things coming out in the market here pretty soon, but I wanted to give this one a try just to get kind of a baseline and see if I like this one over what I'm going to see here in the next couple of months. Now with the wrench drawer, we're going to have a whole lot more going on for that one. Toolbox widgets, as you guys know, if well, we'll say if you haven't been living under a rock or anything, you should know about the toolbox widget. They've got the modular wrench organizer that is in two and one section, each individual little bit where you can lock them together to be able to put together a wrench set organization thing. So uh, you're able to put any size of set together, whether it be small or large. 
On top of that, the Toolbox widget has a whole brand new design coming out here very soon. They've been taking pre-orders here for about a month or so, and they're getting ready to ship, I'd say, pretty soon probably within the next month or two. I believe that's about the timeline they're looking at. But that's what's gonna be going on for the wrench drawer, so we kinda have to hold off on that one. The wrenches are just gonna go back into that big drawer so I can fit what I have into it for now. But Toolbox Widget is gonna be what I'm gonna go with for the wrench drawer when it comes time. Hopefully this one wasn't too boring for you. I wasn't gonna bore you with three hours of me just slipping things together, taking them back out, drilling them in, taking them out. Yeah, you weren't gonna get that one. It was not a fun process, but if you do it yourself, it's gonna take a while. Just keep that one in mind, but it does come out amazing in the end. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. We've got a ton of things coming down the pipeline. This weekend, myself, Truck Master and the Captain Ron are gonna be going up to Romeo, Michigan to see HSP Diesel. So if you're into the diesel content, make sure you stay tuned for that one. Hit the like button, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification for when I come out with cool, awesome videos just like this one. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks, and as always, you stay awesome.